baseball, NBA, NFL, country music concerts, hard rock, hip hop, theater, Broadway. He's got them all. And if he don't have them, there ain't none. I'm telling you, smoothtickets.com. Once again, that's smoothtickets.com or give them a call at 404 374 1150. Once again, that's 404 374 1150. You got to tell them, though, that I sent you. You got to tell them that Doug Stewart sent you. Once again, smoothtickets.com. That's smoothtickets.com. Yeah! Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitment. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play, so you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's Stu for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code Stu, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code Stu. This is your folk, Doug Stewart. Want to protect you and your family from life's unexpected mishaps? Then join Seven. Join 7 is a prepaid legal company under the umbrella of the Protection Group. Join 7 is the only group benefit or motor club in the U.S. that offers auto reimbursement coverage, key replacement coverage, roadside assistance, gives you a current metafile, prescription savings, and fully encompassed prepaid legal benefits that include identity theft. They got your back. The average combined cost to purchase these benefits individually is over $850 a year. Join today and take advantage of all seven for $17 a month. They've been around for over 20 years, so check them out by clicking on the banner link on my page, the DougStewartShow.com, or the app. Just go ahead and join seven. Now what they know about the banana and mayonnaise. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Um, I forgot to tell y'all, man. So this Thursday and Friday, there will be no the Doug Stewart Show. Yeah, this Thursday and Friday, man, the Doug Stewart Show and Stewart Media and Entertainment, in effect, will be going dark. That's the... That's the industry term that they use. Uh, to make a long story short, and I'll tell you about it after uh, the fact on, mon- on Monday, but to make a long story short is there's a shipment of fine Alaskan horses coming to Georgia. And so I'm going to a horse convention. So I got to go and attend this horse convention. So I'll tell you all about it, and as I'm not really going anywhere. I'm still going to be here in the city. But I have to attend this uh, horse convention Thursday and Friday. And, uh, I mean, what? It's, it's only a couple times in life you get to pick from some of the finest Alaskan slash Anchorage Alaskan horses of all times. So after Wednesday, SME and the Doug Stewart Show won't be back until Monday. But we will be back on Monday. We ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. We will be back on Monday. So today, tomorrow, and Wednesday are going to be your last shows for the week. Uh, but but until then, just stay tuned to uh, to SME. Let me read some of your messages in the chat room on Spreaker.com. From Jay Clyde in the chat room on Spreaker.com. Jay Clyde says, Golden State was stuck on 89 for like the last five minutes of the game. This L... Uh, I guess he's saying this L is on all of them. I agree. From Sluggo, I'll read more of your chats equals how many chats read? Two or three? All right, I just read two just now. I'm going to beat a record here. (laughs) I've already read two. Let's keep marking, but I'm going to write a little tick mark. All right, so I've read two. Sidney Jackson, Kerr is a second-year coach and has showed in this series he didn't make any adjustments at all. You know why he didn't make any adjustments? Probably. 
because he's watched his team over and over and over again just hit unbelievable, miraculous shot after miraculous shot. And he thought that was going to happen. <laughs> he thought that was going to happen. That's what it was. He, he didn't think that he needed to make any adjustment because how many times have you watched? I know I've watched him a ton this year where these ninjas just make shots. I mean, one of the shots last night that Steph hit, <laughs> I can't remember who was guarding him, but, you know, he did the little thing where he put him on skates and they were on their heels and he backed up behind the three-point line. And I promise you, man, this ninja doesn't even follow through with his shot. It doesn't seem like he just throws it up and it hits nothing but the bottom of the net. Last night, that wasn't so much the case. This man shot more bricks last night than a little bit. Uh, from Rel Scott, he says, yep, at Sluggo. I guess he's talking to Sluggo. If you're up 3-1 to one in any series, you have to finish. Yeah, yeah. To, to be honest with you, you know, truth be told, Golden State shouldn't have been in this finals. <laughs> they shouldn't have been. You know, in, in all realness, you're up three games to one. There's no reason you shouldn't win. And just like Golden State, you know, celebrated the – the, uh, they they swiped the, 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 the jaws of uh, defeat from the Oklahoma City Thunder. You know, they really, really sunk in misery in losing this series, coming back and losing this series 3-1, to one, uh, up 3-1 to one to the Golden State, to, to the Cleveland Cavaliers. They're very confusing. You know what I mean. They were up 3-1 to one against OKC or down 3-1 to one to OKC, lost that series or came back and won that series. Get it right. And then they lost this series. When they were up three games to one to Cleveland. Absolutely a, a roller coaster of emotions for that team uh, for a long, long time to come. From Eugene Jackson, Golden State just didn't have anyone who could stop Kyrie Irving. He's the alpha dog for Cleveland. No, they had nobody that could stop him. That's right. They had absolutely no one that could stop that dude. From Sidney Jackson, exactly C. Small. Cleveland don't choke it away like OKC did. From Cornelia Small, Brazil has beautiful women. What are they talking about? Brazil has beautiful women. Uh, we all know that. You've seen the damn pictures. From Grego, Kerr was exposed. LeBron is the better, is the better coach. Wow. You say LeBron is a better coach than uh than Steve Kerr. Speaking of which, man, we gotta give some credit to to Missouri's to Mexico, Missouri's Tyron Lou. <laughs> Yeah. Tyron Lue mentioned several times last night, you know, shouts out to Mexico, Missouri, um, his hometown. And Tyron Lue did a phenomenal job. I mean, when they were down three games to one, and I said this a couple of days ago, when they were down three games to one, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, when they were down 3-1 and this ninja decided to stick with his original game plan, what they did is they tweaked a couple of things. But everybody in America... Every quote-unquote expert analyst on the Puppet Factory, on Fox Sports, said they need to go big. I even said it. I'm acknowledging it. I'm, I'm going to put it out there. I'm admitting to it that they should go big. And Teron Lou just stuck this game plan. Like, I thought at any moment that you were going to get a lot of Timothy Mozgov and Tristan Thompson was going to move to the four, but he didn't. He stuck to his guns. He stuck to his guns. He knew what he was doing. And he was right. Ball award to Tyron Luke. From Mount Onyx, the NBA is going to try to make this in, this finals into a rivalry. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, really, you wouldn't be surprised if Golden State made it back next year. You wouldn't be surprised if Cleveland represented the East again next year. Yeah, LeBron's got another, what, four years of this level basketball? Yeah, I can see it. I can see Cleveland and Golden State in the finals for the next couple of years, which which is another reason why this whole narrative that that my frat brother Stephen A. Smith is throwing out there. <laughs> Stephen A. has got this storyline going about how LeBron's going to leave Cleveland if he wins the championship this year. And I saw this morning he mentioned, who did he mention? Going back to Miami. 
and going to the Lakers. Now, listen, don't get it twisted. If LeBron went to the Lakers, I would be a happy camper. But that ain't going to happen. LeBron ain't going to no damn Lakers. That man is not leaving Cleveland. Now, yeah, he did, you know, uh, finish what he started. And he did, you know, come through on what he promised the city of Cleveland. But if that man were to leave again, that would just be too much. <laughs> that would be too much. And LeBron ain't going nowhere. I think Stephen A. just throws a lot of this stuff on the wall, man, and sees what's going to stick. Uh, what reason would that man have to leave when he's got Kyrie Irving, <laughs> you know? Uh, I don't know. Kevin Love played solid last night. Maybe they try to move Kevin Love and get another piece to help them, you know, to push forward for a couple more championships. But I don't see him leaving. Why? From 9 on the wine, Omar Jackson is not crying since he is still getting TV money. From Rail Scott, why do people consider what Stephen A. Smith has to say? Well, I mean, listen, to his credit, I mean, he has broken some stories. He's the first person that came out of his mouth and said that LeBron was going to Miami. He got it a couple of hours before everybody else. So the guy, you know, over his career and doing this for, you know, over 20 years, I'm sure he has made some 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 uh, connections with a lot of these pro teams. So I get it. But I just think he's way off base on this one. He's been wrong a lot, too. He's been right on a lot of things, but he's been wrong on a lot of things, too. He just throws things out there to see what's going to stick once again. Um, and I think this is one of those things. Why would LeBron James do that? You, you, you remember that line from Friday? You know, messing with my money is, uh, or what's it, messing with my money is like messing with my emotions or something like that. Why would he mess with the emotions of Ohio sports fans, Cleveland fans like that, and leave after they won a title? What's the point? What's the purpose? No way he does that. No way he does that. No way he does that. Now, maybe he just wants to, the challenge of it, but he doesn't go, clearly he doesn't go to a team if he were to do this. And once again, this is a 1% chance. He can't go and play for Golden State. They were throwing out Golden State. They were throwing out San Antonio. No way he does that. Because then I'd be mad at him all over again, just like I was when he went to Miami to play with Dwayne Wade. Not just me, a lot of people in, in America would be. So... Maybe he just wants to, to, to be a challenge where he takes three teams to the championship and wins championships with three different organizations. Maybe that's a goal, you know, challenging himself. He goes to what, Milwaukee, plays with the Bucks, or, <laughs> you know, some team like that, Orlando. Um, I still don't even see that. I, I don't see that at all, man. No way in the world this dude, you know, up and leaves Cleveland after winning a championship this year. No way. From K3000, K3000 says, Doug, like Stephen A. broke the news, KD was ready to fight. Or, oh, I know what you're saying. My man K3000 has his own language sometimes. <laughs> uh, whatever the story was, Stephen A. broke about KD, and KD was like, that's a lie. Uh, oh, I think it was about him, like, going to another team or whatever. You know, he's been a lot, he's been uh, right a lot, but he's been wrong a lot too. Uh, like my man K3000 is saying, they got them new Steph sneakers on sale for $20.99 on the website. Why did Under Armour uh, make them damn sneakers? <laughs> them sneakers look like the, the sneaker of the month in a retirement home, man. Don't they look like nurse shoes? Seriously? Seriously? In 2016, Under Armour came out with a lame-ass shoe like that? How dare they? Bust the award to Under Armour for them lame-ass shoes. Hey, man, thank you so much for joining me today on the Doug Stewart Show. Yeah. Coming up next, the number one chief rocker, Vern from Jersey and Mandela on the Eat, Sleep, and Grind show right here on SME. Stay tuned. All right, make sure you follow this show, follow, you know, 
the number one chief, Rocka Burn from Jersey Show as well. Hit the follow button. All right, make sure you hit the follow button. All right, that's very, very, very important. Thank you so much to my man, Waterhead Walter, the alpha male, coming to SME next week.